Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I have a treat for you, something a little bit different on the channel, but something I've wanted to cover for a long time. I'm here in East Brunswick, New Jersey at Vending Trucks Inc. and they're a full production and promotional company that specializes in food trucks and I have Chris Nassar here today with us and he's going to give us a tour inside and out of their most recent project and tell us a little bit about the company and some of the systems and how they work. Hello Chris, welcome to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. Hey Patrick, thanks for having me, appreciate it. Um, again my name is Chris and I'm from Vending Trucks Incorporated in East Brunswick, New Jersey and we are custom fabricators. We specialize in food trucks but also retail trucks and, and any other uh, promotional, promotional vehicles. Um, we are, we've been in business since 2003, been doing this for a long time and been growing ever since. Um, and you know, we have a customer that is just about to pick up their completed truck from us uh, called Ray's Caribbean. And I just wanted to give you guys a little tour and, and show you what, uh, what we have going on over here. Well, it's an 18 foot Freightliner MT45 vehicle, large diesel step van, um, perfect for a kitchen. And on the side over here, we have a, a, a 43 inch TV, which is actually built inside the truck, but behind tempered glass display so that it's protected from the elements and also visible from the outside. And it's linked to exterior speakers on the side uh, so we can hear all the audio through the, through the uh, TV system. Um, and then moving along over here, we have the, uh, the serving window, which is currently closed for protection, but I'll open it up for you guys so you can see what the overall, the whole feel looks like. And this particular window has a flip up marquee for extra branding and it has built in underbody lighting. So when it flips up, it screams to come to visit the truck. And it has removable tempered glass panels, you can put in screens there, you can take them out completely, whatever you'd like to do, but um, it's you know, full protection there. And right below the window is our six foot drop down counter, which, which flips down for when you're not in operation or if you're driving and then when, it's, when you're ready to serve flip it up and now a customer has a place to put their food put their purse whatever they need to put up there um, just you know prepare their food and everything uh, and uh, right above here we have the uh, fabric rollout awning and this is an 18 foot wide umbrella fabric shade line awning and it is um, a manual rollout so it rolls out up to eight feet and it gives you full coverage if you have you know, a rainy day, you would have customers under here ordering to stay dry, and also is, it gives it a really inviting feel to, the, um, you know, to, to visit the truck. And then uh, below the awning, we have our, our corner LED spotlights with adjustable heads to kind of complement the, the serving window on the side here. You know, between the spotlights and the lighting under the window, it really stands out at night. It's very inviting for the, for the consumer. And down here, we have uh, the plumbing system, or the end of the plumbing system here, this is the waste drain valve for once, once you're running the water through the plumbing or the sinks, it drains into the wastewater tank. And then when you're ready to drain at a commissary or a facility, you simply just turn the red lever and then the wastewater would come out there. Um, and then moving along back here, this is a, uh, an exterior vent for any time there's refrigeration in the truck. So directly behind this vent is a refrigeration unit. And we put this here for two reasons. One reason is it allows us to install the refrigeration as close as possible to the walls so that it increases your aisle space. But also, if you have a compressor issue, you could service it without fully uninstalling the unit. And these are anywhere where there's refrigeration or freezers. As you've been seeing all around, it's Ray's Caribbean American Food. They're, um, they're in Aberdeen, Maryland. And, um, and they have a full vinyl wrap over the, the body, the rub rails and everything. And we, at Benny Trucks, we helped with the custom design, the templating, the uh, interior design, um, all placement and everything. So uh, we, we started the, project, the, the process from start to finish and assisted the, you know, the customer to make it exactly what they were looking for. We have the bumper that's outside, that sticks out the back for uh, obviously protection, but also helps with a step leading up into the kitchen and bumpers along the back. And there's a backup camera above the rear doors, which when you're driving a vehicle like this, this large and you can't see out the back, you wanna make sure to have some form of uh, visual there, so that backup camera is a big help for the driver for safety and everything. And over here, this is your, your fuel fill 
uh, for the vehicle gas tank, but also this is the fuel fill for the generator gas tank indirectly because the generator feeds off of the vehicle gas tank. So all you have to do is fill the truck and indirectly you're filling the generator as well. And there's a quarter tank shut off for safety so you don't get stranded in that, in that festival. And then over here we have our shore power connection. So if you're at a festival where you're allowed to plug in or you have the capability to do that or at the end of your operation day, you might want to um, plug in at your facility instead of having to empty out all your refrigeration. So that's uh, one way to operate. But if you don't have that uh, access, then we would work up with an onboard generator. And in this, this truck has a 12,000 watt Cummins Onan diesel generator. Um, like I said, married to the, to the vehicle gas tank. Uh, it's a quiet series and it's built inset into the truck. So it's concealed and protected. And then up top over here, we have the uh, exhaust fan, the mushroom style exhaust fan for the cooking equipment. And uh, anytime you cook, there's smoke and the smoke gets pulled up through the hood and then it gets pulled up from the, that mushroom exhaust fan, um, which is, you know, health code and also, you know, it also stops the, uh, the truck from smoking up on the inside. And then um, more refrigeration vents. So like I said before, anywhere where there's refrigeration or freezers installed, that's why you'll see those spread out throughout the vehicle. Um, and then down here we have our chrome wheel simulator. So this, this truck has uh, the chrome wheel covers to, to give it that pop. Um, you know, really shines on as it's driving down there. Um, and the, the front of the vehicle is a uh, the upgraded uh, grill with a chrome bumper and it shines and separates from the rest, really. And I know that you guys are dying to go inside this thing, so let's do it. Let's go inside and see how, how this all works. All right. So starting off in the cab area here, we have um, you know a regular driver's seat and steering wheel and everything, but um, what we what we have installed here is a remote start for the generator, so you don't have to open up any covers or pull any gauges or anything like that. So I'm just gonna quickly start this up. Let's see how easy it is. There it is. It's on. Um, so very simple operation of the generator. We'll turn that off there. Um, and then overhead we have an audio. This is our audio receiver for the uh, exterior speakers outside. Um, if you wanted to stream anything on the, oh, do the TV or just audio, you could do that. Backup camera, which you saw the camera along the rear. This is the, the screen that the driver would see, linked to that camera. Um, a fan, an audio system for the driver, and you know the, the standard, standard uh, safety items like a first aid kit and everything that would go along there. Over here we have um, our uh, breaker panel for all the electrical equipment that is on the inside of the truck, refrigeration, water heater, water pump, um, any open outlets that are available to plug in, it's all here. So if any uh, area needs to be addressed, we know where to access. And, and when I showed you before about the, uh, the generator and the plug-in connection, this is your transfer switch box. So right now we're plugged into shore power, but if we were, if we were gonna be operating off the generator like I had it on before, we would simply just turn it off and then back on again but we're gonna go back on to shore power because we are plugged in. All right, and let's go inside. All right, and here it is, a full 18 foot kitchen, complete cooking line um, with a, a hood exhaust system, plumbing system, diamond plate flooring, stainless steel throughout, aluminum ceiling, uh, flush LED lighting, uh, air conditioning, everything to make this a comfortable kitchen. Um, and let's open this up here. And an easy rear step up and open space for you know loading any equipment or, or materials and, and loading food up for events. So I'm gonna close these back up here. All right. And to start off in, in, the, in the corner, we have our um, fire suppression system, which is uh, linked to the hood system and the exhaust fan. It's usually health code and fire, fire code to, um, to have that, but in either way, in either case, it is recommended always, and that's your pull valve for, uh, for a fire emergency. Um, and then down here is the 27 inch refrigerated sandwich prep. So this is basically your deli type, your deli style fridge with the compartments refrigerated up here for toppings. And below is refrigerated storage as well for basically storing those toppings. And then there's a cutting board up top to prepare. 
as needed. And over here is the biggest piece of equipment for this particular truck. Their their main um, their main style of cooking is on the flat grill. Uh, they it's a, a 72 inch unit that um, can cook a lot of chicken out here. So that's a lot of Caribbean chicken. And up top, just to uh, to show you the other end of the fire suppression, these are your suppression valves that will spray if uh, there's a fire emergency and the valve is pulled. And here is your uh, your hood system with your grease filters. And the exhaust fan that we looked at, that we looked at on the outside, this is the inside view of what's there. So it pulls from, the smoke comes up from the equipment, pulls into the hood, out the exhaust fan. And then at the end of the, uh, the uh, hood system is a grease filter. So the, uh, the hood, the grease will drip into the hood, but it has a, a lip to catch, and it'll catch into this, into this drip pan, so you can easily dispose of that. And then uh, working our way back here, uh, we have a, a full-size stand-up refrigerator, 19 cubic feet, single door, with shelving on the inside, temperature gauge. And then right next to it is a, a drink dispenser for juice, any kind of drinks that you'd want to store there, whether it's pre-mixed or just water, um, and in, in the customer view so they can, so they can see the offer of drinks. Um, and then overhead we have uh, we have four inch or four foot shelving units with a one inch lip for dry product, any kind of materials that you'd want to store there when operating napkins, plates, forks, knives, things like that. Um, and, and and above are the uh, you know additional uh, electrical outlets for plugging in items if needed. And and down below uh, over here we have uh, stainless steel countertop, custom built to size exact for the fill this space, uh, permanently mounted to the truck itself. And below is the inside view of those um, of a vent, and then um, your open outlets for plugging in items. This is the obviously the inside view of the serving window, so the serving window sliding panels. And as I mentioned, these are removable. It's simple to just pull them out and load them right back in. And then over here is our plumbing system, and this is typically health code to have your three compartment sink, hand wash sink paper towel dispenser, soap dispenser, uh, splash guards around the, the hand sink, uh, the whole package there. Below the plumbing system, see all of our fittings here, and water, the water pump and water heater is here, strainer. That's our, our water heater, a six gallon water heater for this. This here is what when I showed you outside that exterior view TV that was mounted behind tempered glass. Well, this is the inside view of it, and this is the access panel, so we can get to our um, we can get to our connections on the back of the TV, and also built-in fans, so the build-up doesn't um, doesn't cause any issues to the TV, and then vent ventilation cut into it. And what you'll notice all along the, the vehicle are you know light switches, switch for the water pump, interior lights, exterior lights. Um, you just so you have full control of what you know what you want to be operating, and even the switch for the exhaust fan. We have a speed switch here to turn it on, which also turns on the hood lights. So you can see why you're cooking, but you can you'll hear the fan kick on, and you can change the speed, and that's what's going to be pulling the smoke up as you're cooking. And down here, below the cooking equipment, you'll notice that we have custom. Uh, custom tables, work tables, and, and they are set a little bit lower than a standard table, so we do build everything in-house here uh, with a wrapped in stainless steel, aluminum square tubing, and this allows us to uh, have flexibility with operating heights and widths that we need to uh, work through for, for consumers. And below here is your, your propane system. Uh, this is where the cooking equipment is linked to with separate shutoff valves uh, for code and safety. All right, and over here we have a double basket fryer. Um, for obviously fried foods, and this is a, a drain valve, so when, when it comes time to the end of the operation day, you need to drain your oil, simply just screw this in, and then it drains out into your safe container. All right, and next to here is a three pan steam table. Uh, now these are, these are open wells, but you, can, you break these into whatever size you like. You could do full pans, you could do half pans, three one third pans in each, however you want to break it down, depends on what you're serving and your volume. And it has you know cutting board, so when you when you do scoop food out of it, you can prep on the cutting board and do what you need to do there. And this is also propane powered, and separate uh, separate temperature gauges for each well, if you're if you have different product in each. And a class K fire extinguisher, 
which is a um, which is generally a requirement and in conjunction with the fire suppression system. And then up top here we have an air conditioned unit with a, with a heat strip uh, to you know keep that cook a little bit cool when they're in here. It's still going to be a little warm in here, but it does help a, it does help a bit when that is on. Um, and then an additional refrigerated sandwich prep with the compartments like we had on the other end. This one's a little bit wider than the other. The double door refrigeration below. A full size hot box for full sheet pans. This allows to, to keep the food hot for a certain amount of time after it's cooked. And temperature gauges if you're doing, uh, if you're doing holding or if you're just um, giving moisture to dough, whatever you might be doing, it allows you to change that temperature. And is that tied into the same propane system that the cooktop is and the Good the question. Uh, the, uh, this, the hot box and any refrigeration is actually all of the electrical system. Um, the only propane equipment is the, the cooking pieces like the flat grill, fryer, and the, the three pan steam table here. Those are your only pieces linked to propane. Everything else is electric. And what size propane tank is on board? So this truck has a 100 pound propane tank below the truck. Below the truck to, so it's not as visible from the outside. Um, it's kind of concealed under there. And then for domestic water, there's just a fresh water tank, a potable water, and a gray waste tank. Yes, yeah, but so below the truck on the exterior, there's a 40 gallon fresh water tank. And that's what the system pulls for the water pump pulls from to use. And then it drains into a 50 gallon uh, wastewater tank, which then when it's time gets drained through the waste valve, the way we saw outside. Now, a lot of people that have RVs are familiar with gray and black tanks. Black tank would be for toilet waste. And there's a standard RV dump station connection. Now, you had mentioned a different way that food trucks empty their water. Uh, yeah, so we, because it's not, it's not a black tank, it's not wastewater. It's, uh, I mean, it's wastewater, but it's not, it's not um, a waste. So um, what will, that, as long as you're at a commissary that allows for uh, you know, sewage draining like that, then you can, um, you can drain there different than a black tank. And then do they have to empty the fryer every time they pack up to drive to another location? Yes, uh, unfortunately that is what is recommended is to empty, to empty the fryer, drain the grease whenever you're in motion because even when it's halfway full, it'll still splash around and grease can get very slippery and it can be dangerous. So it is recommended to empty it every time. So just to time accordingly and, um, or if you are gonna drain hot grease, just to drain it into uh, it's a container that can handle the grease and is uh, safe with a secure lid. So is there a little bit more prep time operating out of a food truck kitchen than say a commercial kitchen, like daily activities? Is there extra little extra yeah, things you have to do? Yeah, good question. And, I, and I, on food trucks in general, uh, there tends to be a little bit more preparation involved um, because of not having that brick and wet permanent brick and mortar space where you have your go-to storage. You have to prepare for each day because you're maximizing the limited storage that you have on board. So in order to do that, you have to prepare for every specific event versus just having it all in one building and pulling it from where you, you, know, where you would need to get it from. So it tends to be a little bit longer on the preparation side for food trucks. Can you walk us through the process? A customer comes to you and says, hey, I think I'm expanding my business. I want to get a food truck. What steps are involved? I guess a lot of them, it's their first food truck. They don't even know where to begin. Is that what your company does is kind of guides them through the whole process? Absolutely. From sourcing the truck to everything? Absolutely, that's exactly, what, that's exactly what we do. We help the customer from start to finish. In many cases, this is a first time venture for most, and even for restaurant owners, the, having it on a mobile, it's on the mobile side is a first time venture for them. So we'll, we'll assist the customer with, uh, with design, designing it from the, inspecting the proper equipment, designing what the layout is gonna be, cross-referencing it with the proper health codes that they need to follow for wherever they're operating, um, working them through the fabrication process, um, and just helping them through the, pro the, the, the progress of working with the health department, any kind of applications or any questions, technical related questions. So we'll help walk the customer through that. Um, and that, that goes for the vehicle itself. In, in most cases, we provide the vehicle as well. Um, however, some of our customers do provide vehicles to us to fabricate, which we're happy to do also. But um, but we'll, we help with the process from start to finish, from interior design to exterior graphic design, to um, you know operation procedures with uh, you know field manuals and how to how to properly clean and winterize and and um, you know operate the truck because it like I mentioned it's it's a first time venture for many so and we understand that so we make sure to uh, to provide that you know the the uh, documentation to be able to operate.
And I know from being in the RV business, the lead time, when you order an RV for it to be made at the dealer's lot, what's the time frame on something like this? A customer from start to end when they take delivery? Yeah, so, so for lead time, it, it does depend on the type of project. If it's a custom build-out project from, from scratch where we're starting with an empty vehicle and starting with framing and the walls and everything and cuts, uh, that build-out process tends to take about six to eight weeks. Um, and the design process can take a couple of weeks on the front end of that. Um, but it, it also, we also offer pre-built food trucks as well. So we have trucks that are partially built, halfway built, and fully built. So if sometimes we need to make just some adjustments and changes, then the lead time drastically changes. Um, it could be, at that point, a week uh, if it's very minimal changes or if it's, if it's ready to go. So it depends. And it's not just food trucks here. I walked the property. I saw an Airstream trailer out back. I saw a school bus. What other things are you oh, sure. into? Yeah, so, so we, um, we have all sorts of uh, vehicles and we fabricate all sorts of vehicles, um, not just food trucks. We've done retail trucks. We've done mobile leasing offices, tailgate trailers, manufacturing buses. Uh, we've done music studios. Um, all sorts of things. So it's it's really not limited to the food truck. In our in our um, in our business, our industry, it's uh, it's really just an empty box. And what we do with that room is really up to the customer, and, and we can uh, you know fabricate that however is needed. So. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for taking the tour of our custom food truck 2020 Freightliner MT45. I hope you liked it. We enjoy building it. And again, I'm Chris Nasser from Vending Trucks Incorporated. We're in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Feel free to visit us on the web at www.vendingtrucks.com and uh, our phone number is 732-969-5400. Hope to see you guys soon.